something though. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money, now I'm acting a fool. Never thought What's back, buddy? Kevin Van Boris. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? Kevin Van Boris here. So we got a lot of shit we got to do today, but to uh, do the intro to the video, we're gonna have the loudest garage that you've ever heard about to go down in five seconds. We've got the stock demon. We've got my charger. I don't know the horsepower. David's. We don't know the horsepower. Stock demon. We're gonna start all three at once. We're gonna piss off the entire neighborhood, probably the entire city of Amarillo. But fuck it. This is for you guys. All right, so first one, we'll start, let's see. Is it demon? Oh, wait, we're, we're going to have to start. The yeah. demons are quiet. Okay, the demon. Unfortunately. So we've got too many keys. Like we're we're outside the garage. Let's see how far we can go. Cause I have a long driveway. So we're like 30 feet away, and uh, you can still hear it. It's loud. Holy shit! I think I just I think my ear drums just bleed, bled. All right, we're gonna move these out. We gotta wash uh, the cars today, and then we gotta organize everything. So we'll take you through that, and uh, yeah. I seriously can't even hear myself think. So the car is extremely dirty. I know you guys probably can't see this. So let's throw this in the drive. We're gonna pull this out. And for those of you guys wondering that I have a tire service pressure sen sensor, tire pressure sensor on is because I have the front skinnies on. So we're gonna open my gate, got a little gate. So we're gonna open that. We'll pull this around. We're gonna wash this. We gotta pull out the cars. We've got, um, I gotta wash this, wash the track hawk. We'll take you through that. And uh, God damn it, my my ears literally fucking burn. And then uh, we'll show you my our little Mopar collection here in a bit. So if you guys are new to the channel, uh, I have a Demon. I've got a track hawk. I've got a 2016 Charger and we also have a Ram 2500. My brother has a Ram 2500 and he also has a Hellcat Challenger. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. A lot of stuff going down. So let's pull this bad boy out and give it a good wash. All right, so we got this parked. Ugh. So, and I actually have the other demon wheels right here. So uh, we're gonna give this a wash. I've got the Mickey Thompson's on still because last time I took it to the track. Um, but we're gonna wash this. This has been at the dealership because of rust issues. And uh, if you do have a demon, I would highly recommend checking your car for rust. And I know it might not affect the performance now, but I would be something that you need to get checked out for sure. But this has been at the dealership 
it rained and it's got all this stuff on it luckily this car has been ceramic coated and i'll show you guys what i use and kind of how i wash my cars and if you you should do it this way too that we don't really have to touch it and everything but i've got all this i've got bird shit water spots everywhere and uh <clears throat> so we're gonna see how well this takes it off okay so the uh car wash stuff that i use is car pro it's some of the best stuff that I've ever used. They make some really good products. So today I'm just using Reset. And then on the wheels and uh, tires, I'll be using this, which is just kind of their little um, high, non-acidic um, cleaner, which you can put on wheels and the brakes and stuff. And then after I wash it, I'll go after with this, and this is Reload, this is just silica spray. It's basically like a, uh, what is it? The sealant is basically just something that's going to, this one is just going to help the ceramic coating kind of last a little longer. So I like to put that on just to give it a little extra coverage. So it, especially on the track hawk, which is black, which is over there, uh, it makes a huge difference. And you can use this actually on vinyl and everything. So this whole car has been ceramic coated, which is nice. Even the tires, the wheels, and all that good stuff. The only tires that, the only wheels that have been ceramic coated actually are the front skinnies. So we might have to scrub those a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, so the other thing that I use is a uh, spotless, uh, what is this? Spotless water system. And I finally figured it out thanks to you guys. <laughs> so I actually had to reorder the middle metal thing that goes in it because it wasn't in the middle of it. I lost them somehow. So got that, ordered new filters because I think my filters are bad, it works great. And then I have this Ryobi, which is 1.2 gallon per minute. Uh, power washer it's electric because with this you want to really get as low as possible as far as a uh, gallon per minute goes because the filters if you go through too fast the water doesn't filter correctly so you want to slow that down as much as you can so this is 1.2 I have a actual power washer that's gas and it's like 1.8 and it doesn't do too well with that filter system so enough of me talking let's get this bad boy washed and uh, let's go through it all right, so we got everything hooked up. So what I do is I rinse it off first. I'll soap it, rinse it, soap it, scrub it, rinse it, and then be done. So rinsed it, soaped it, rinsed it, soaped it, scrubbed it real quick. I make sure I use one of these Car Pro super whatever wash mitts. Uh, just as a, I think it's like six or 700 GSM so it doesn't scratch the ceramic. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of coming off. It beads up really nicely. So then what I'll do is I'll take a dry towel and just dry it down. I do have this air blower. You know, let's give this a try, actually. I haven't really used this this much. So we're gonna try this thing. I bought it. Works pretty good. I actually use it to clean up my garage, too. All right, so that dryer actually works really good. Uh, until we got that water spot thing actually working. But this is me. I haven't even touched it with the towel yet. I just need to dry the top. There's a couple of spots where I miss scrubbing because you can see it. So I'll get some of that silica spray. But look at, I mean, this is, I mean, look at how dry that made it. So there's one big spot on the trunk that I missed but it works really good. So what I'll do is I'll take one of my, um, I think these are, what are these called? Uh, I don't remember, but these are on the Car Pro website. These are the best towels you can get, uh, really soft. So what I'll do is I'll dry this on it. I think this is 1200 GSM, so it's not gonna scratch anything. I'll dry over all the spots, and then what I'll do is I'll come around, I'll get the silica spray, and I'll come around and spray the whole entire car just to give it a little extra shine. Probably hit the windows, make sure they're all good. But otherwise, I mean, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty money right there. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll talk to you guys here in a few. All right, so that's pretty much how I washed the Demon. Um, I was gonna wash the Jeep today, but tomorrow, me and Rachel are gonna do a video on if Ceramic Pro is worth it. So me and Rachel are gonna wash the 
Jeep tomorrow, but this is good. This is good to go. So uh, as far as like rust update, I'm just waiting on the dealership to call me back. Let me know when they have the parts. Um, so I was going to race it this weekend. I just didn't have time to get race gas or anything like that. But I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of how I washed the Demon. But again, um, we'll go over tomorrow's video about if you should ceramic pro your car or not. Because it is pretty expensive. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that video. So it'll be me and Rachel washing the car. And um, so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. But this is the finished product. So it came out really good. I love the yellow. I know some of you guys don't like the yellow, but I really do really do like the yellow I don't know it just stands out a lot so and I think I think when you own a demon you need a color that stands out I mean look at that so anyways that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys for watching make sure you guys subscribe and uh, hit the like button if you like this video my name is Kevin Van Boris make sure you guys are following me on social media at Kelly Boy Kev on Instagram and on snapchat my name is Kevin Van Boris and I'm out this bitch